I am going to be doing a review of Lessons for a Living Education, the math. We have levels two, four, and five here at our house. And I wanted to show you what these books were like. So here's one thing that I really like. I don't know why all books don't have this. It has a weekly guide and then it has what date that it's supposed to be done and the grade that they got. Now, obviously I haven't filled it out yet, but it's there for when I want to fill it out. So that's good. It also tells you what manipulatives you need at the beginning of the book so that you know what you need to have on hand, which is also helpful. So here are some things that I think are kind of dumb. <coughs> dumb? Yeah. So they have these little stories at the beginning of each lesson, like each unit kind of, that says review of all addition and subtraction concepts in the heading. But then the story is just a silly little story about this family that you don't really even care about. And the family is featured in all of the books, but if you don't have level three, for instance, which we don't, then I think you miss some stuff because sometimes the stories don't even really make that much sense. And I don't really know why we need to read them. It doesn't have very good instructions. So for example, we were working on rounding today and it just says round and estimate. All right, so we did that, but it doesn't tell you, okay, definitely round to the hundreds or round to the thousands or round to the tens. It just says round and estimate. So I consider that to be a downfall. And also, I don't really understand why we're doing the rounding anyway. Like, I mean, I'm a grown adult and it says, like, supposedly if you're rounding, then your estimated sum would be similar to your actual sum and they weren't really even that close. So I don't really understand that either. Um, I do like the font that they use for the numbers. I think this is really helpful, especially for my sons who have dyslexia. I like that it's a nice and big and that the numbers are easy to read. That helps them a lot. So that's a really good thing. I like how there are lots of number problems, I mean word problems. Um, but again, there's several places where the directions are not super clear. Um, Denton did a um, Sudoku and it doesn't really, it has like a whole page of instructions, but it doesn't really tell you how to do it. So there's a lot of guesswork. And then it also has other things like, um, here's the answer key at the back. So that's good. Um, but it also has like extra things like this place value village, but it doesn't really tell you how to use it. It has a video on YouTube, which I thought at first was really cool, but it doesn't really tell you exactly what to do. So we did this place value village. It only goes up to a thousands. So then Denton's problem went up to the hundred thousands. So we did this in this number four equals 400 groups of thousands because in the place value village, it only goes up to a thousand. Well, in the answer key, then it actually says there's four groups of a hundred thousand and it doesn't even write them out. Or here it says for copy work, hundred. So he wrote a hundred. And then I was like, well, I think that it means that you're supposed to write out the number, but it doesn't actually tell you which one you're supposed to do. So there's just a lot of clarification that I think is missing. I think that it's good practice. I think that the math itself is fine. Um, as a solid whole curriculum though, if you're not doing um, supplementary activities where you're practicing math facts and multiplication tables, um, and practicing their addition and subtraction, I don't think that it's enough for them to really learn it all. They have, the exercises are short, which is a good thing. For instance, um, this is all that they expect you to do for one day, just these five problems, which I don't feel like that's really enough. Um, but it works because it's something to start off from and we can start at this certain place and then um, we can do more than that. So that's good. So, so anyway, I think that this is a, it's an inexpensive book. I think that it's worthwhile to purchase. I, I do like the way that it's laid out. 
<laughs> it has some gaps. I think Saxon is a much more thorough um, math curriculum if that's all you're going to do. We do practice our math facts in other ways than just these workbooks. So for us, um, it really is okay. But also we really like the animals on the front. <laughs> but if... Um, if this is all you're counting on, I don't think that it's thorough enough. So that's my review of Lessons for a Living Education. Sorry about the dog.